Hey friend, we are in Greece right now, in Rhodes Island. No, I'm not going to Crete or somewhere else. We are staying in this island and spending here two weeks. We will travel all the island around and yeah, basically beaches, all that stuff. So it's crazy how those small, whatever, I don't remember how you call them. The background noise is just crazy loud here. And yeah, it was a while since last Q&A, so it's time to do that. Okay, and probably most important question from non-programming. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you always shave the beard when you are go to holidays and go beard back, please? Yeah, eventually I will do it. When I will be back in the city, probably I will have less time for shaving, walking around, ice creams in the middle of the day, coffee shops and all that stuff. Back in corporate job, I was shaving every day and uh, growing beard in my trips. Now I'm doing that differently. Will you do any coding today? Uh, yes, I will do. I will do coding today and I'm working on feature for my own app, which I'm planning to ship in the autumn, so September, so I'm working on that on the on nights and evenings. <laughs> Personal one. Why you made the tattoos? So, I like it. Just like them. And what are plans for my next year? Another hand are going to be tattooed as well. And I would like to even more switch my focus on personal projects and spend less time on freelancing. That's my kind of plan for next year. We'll see how that will go. More technical question. When starting new project, what approach do you follow? Any framework? So, I have to say I'm not a big believer in those frameworks, Viper, whatever. They work, of course, but they are more important for big teams and big projects. When I'm starting my own projects, those are small pet projects, so frameworks doesn't matter. MVC for uh, UIKit project and MVVM for SwiftUI project. Let me say a little bit differently. It is uh, easier to start from something simple and then scale, build it up and build complex system than start from complex system and make it work. So, and related question, what is the biggest project you have worked on? Biggest from user's perspective, I would say Antiland social network app um, uh, with millions of users. So user from user base, that is the biggest project. The project that I'm working now, a small world, that is uh, more complex from project perspective because there is chat included, Facebook-like news feed, Instagram-like posts, and uh, booking home-like uh, hotel bookings. Okay, a few more development-related questions. How to find job as a juniorized developer? That's a tricky one. Build as much as possible projects, get as much as possible experience and try to apply on many, many jobs. Freelancing is one of the way how to get experience, that's what I did. I need those courses, there are many of them. I can recommend hacking with Swift, that is a good one. And free. And uh, yeah, this one, hi bro, the case success in programming, especially front view. Uh, I don't know anything about web development, but key success as always. Keep learning and try to apply whatever you're learning. Just do not jump from one tutorial to another without applying them. So, build your projects. Long two weeks without good coffee. Okay, one and a half week. What's your advice for those absolute beginners? Um, find course and stick with one what you like, but you have to kind of learn how to make better kind of questions. That is a very general question and I can give only general answer. Be patient, for example, be consistent, that's it. But another one where to learn iOS development that is kind of more specific. I would say Apple tutorials are really great, start with them and uh, I will I will do video about so learning iOS development, where to learn, what are resources that I'm recommending in this year. And another one related was Swift UI versus UI kit. If you are starting new project now, definitely SwiftUI because SwiftUI is the way where Apple is going and wants us to go, so there's no reason to stick with UI kit. A bit more random questions. How much money requires a comfy living in Latvia? Well, depends, right? How big is your family? I have a wife and two kids, so Way more expenses uh, comparing if you are in your 20s with no responsibilities. I will say from 1,000, 1,000 to 2,000 is comfortable living for one person. I bet you know English and Latvian. What about Russian language? Yeah, of course I know English, <laughs> obviously. And I speak uh, Latvian, of course, as well, because that's my native language. Labdien, Plavakar, un tā tālāk, sveiki, tautieši. That's Latvian. 
Russian, yeah, I know Russian because I born in back in USSR and back then it was kind of mandatory to learn Russian, so I can могу послать на русском довольно свободно. So I can speak Russian, I can read Russian, I do not type Russian because I don't know, Russian grammar is horrible. And I don't I have zero need and willing to do that. Usually I do not drink soft drinks, but it is already too much water for today. At what age do you start working as a programmer? I will say that I started professional to be professional programmer in my very late 30s. Currently I'm 46. I don't know, I was 38, 39, something like that. How much experience do you have in iOS field and can you inform me about Flutter, please? Flutter, I will do video about Flutter, but short. in short, I stick with native development. How long have you been freelancing? The same, since 2016. Roadmap for whom, who wants to be iOS developer. I have a video about how to get into tech career. Basically, that is stuff like that. What exactly should be learned to become iOS developer? Okay, I will do a longer video about that as well. Does it make sense to learn programming language on your own? I think that yes, I learned programming on my own, iOS development, but uh, depends on you as that's very individual. Someone needs university, someone needs bootcamp, whatever. How do, you, how do you get clients? Was you in army before? Yes, I spent my 20s in army and in police. How I'm getting clients? I started on freelancing uh, sites. I have full video, basically that was live stream, hour, hour long live stream, and I cut it down to the video. Check that video out. Basically, I described all the ways and options, how I'm getting, what I tried, what was working, what didn't work, and so on, yeah. Okay, what development tools do you use, like Gitover and so on? Basically, yeah, Gitover is most pricey one, because Xcode basically includes all that you need for programming as iOS developer. Of course, I'm using Terminal, I'm using Console, but those are built-in tools. There are third-party tools for that, but built-in tools work just fine for me. Postman for some API call emulation. Atom, when I need something else for some small code work or just to open some JSON file, stuff like that, then I'm using Atom. I use it VS Code, but somehow Atom works for me better. And those are not really development tools, but uh, Figma and Sketch design tools, those are, those are tools that I'm using. Okay, seems that I managed to answer all of your questions. The questions was asked in Instagram, so if you are not following me on Instagram, <laughs> follow and enable those bell notifications to do not miss next Q&A if you would like to ask any question to me. Okay, guys, see you next one. Bye.